So it's a Saturday night and I'm chilling at home by myself having a quiet weekend. And apparently what I thought was cool on a Saturday night was to write notes about the product development life cycle. So here we are. And if you're watching this on a Saturday night, then we would be friends. But no, jokes aside, I thought it would be great to go over how we go from an idea all the way to a product in the hands of customers. So let's go. First and foremost, of course, you need an idea. The idea should hopefully solve a problem or stem from a problem, but otherwise you might just have an idea for a cool product and hopefully you can work it back to a problem that it's gonna solve. But basically just brainstorm the shit out of your idea. Then you want to research the hell out of that idea. You should do secondary research and primary research, which I actually forgot to put on here. But yeah, look at the market, look at potential competitors that you would have, indirect and direct. Look at the demographic of the potential customers you could sell this product to. Once you feel super knowledgeable through all the research you have done by talking to people as well as desktop research, define what you want the product to actually do, the features and the functionality. This is definitely the fun part. Once you've settled on what you want to build, you can go into prototyping a minimum viable product. Again, this is to validate and test the idea and the solution before you spend too much time, money, energy, and effort into building out the whole damn thing because you don't actually know if people are going to use it. By the way, the beauty of the product development life cycle is you can literally pivot at any point through something you discover through any of these phases. Okay, assuming your prototype results come back successful, then you can spend some time on the full technical solution design. Like essentially the ins and outs of how the product will be properly built to scale. Doesn't mean you, know, you need to go and build it all straight away, but you have an idea of what it will require. And at the same time, you wanna design what it's gonna look like, the full user experience, the user interface, meaning the screens, as well as the flow of the screens. Then of course the product needs to be built, which is actually a whole process in itself, the software development lifecycle. I'm not gonna go into that one because I'm not an engineer, even though I'm very familiar with it, but also because I don't have that much time in this video. Then you finally release the product. This is also the fun part, but also the daunting part, because now you actually have to hopefully deal with real people using your product. Last but not least, you'll probably loop through this process many times for the feedback you get on how to iterate and improve on this product. That's it for my Saturday night lesson.